The Hild Award Valedictorian Medal is presented each year to a graduate who excels in scholarship. This medal is awarded in memory of Hild Award, who was a valued benefactor of the college and an early member of our college council. I am proud to announce that the 2019 Winter Valedictorian will graduate with a degree in Applied Mathematics and a minor in Economics. It is with great pleasure and pride that I introduce to you the Winter Valedictorian, Ms. Tunisia Solomon. How do I look? <laughs> Good morning, President Nader, distinguished guests, members of the administration, <coughs> faculty and staff, friends and family, and finally, the best for last, my classmates, colleagues, and fellow graduates, welcome. I stand before you humbled, honored, and grateful for this tremendous opportunity to be your valedictorian. We made it! <laughs> On behalf of the graduating class, thank you to family, friends, faculty, and staff who supported us on our journey. I would like to give a special thanks to my supportive parents and lovely godmother who have been with me every step of the way. My amazing family, incredible friends, and prayer-filled church family. Thank you to the mathematics department, especially Dr. Marx, Dr. Vitu, and Dr. Yang, the economics department, Dr. Vit and Dr. Musa, computer programming department, Dr. Aiden and Dr. Hosky, Ms. Stein, my C-step family, Dr. Elfie and the ASAP program, Coach Minkoff and Daniela and the athletics department, and all who have been a part of my journey, I love and appreciate you. When the commencement committee notified me of its valedictorian selection, I was beyond ecstatic. So much so, I ran laps around the campus, skipping and singing my greatest passion, and calling my family and friends to tell them the life-affirming news. To onlookers, my unfiltered enthusiasm and unbounded joy might have seemed odd, but to me, that moment was the ultimate culmination of my college career. My fellow graduates and I have experienced the good times and the bad, the sleepless nights spent studying, long afternoons training for track, baseball, tennis, or basketball competitions, but we've made it because we fearlessly pursued our dreams. Fearlessly pursuing your dreams despite challenges is what leads to success. My own experience attests to that. Today, I am graduating with a bachelor's degree in mathematics, despite being told when I was seven and in elementary school that I needed remedial math. This is strange because I've always loved math and I possessed a keen understanding of finance. And during family nights, we, when we would play games, I had always played the role of Monopoly banker. Thankfully, my parents did not agree with the teacher and insisted I remain in the traditional math class. My parents always set out to help me in my academics, and after this news, they took extra time to sit and work with me, ensuring that I knew all the necessary concepts. Before long, I was head of my class. In middle school, I took a placement test that earned me the opportunity to skip a math level. But even with this accomplishment, I felt insecure and would work very hard to prove to myself that I was worthy, all the while growing to love math even more. Finally, in college, I chose to major in math. I was determined to be the best that I could be and prove yet again that I had what it takes. Through determination, grit, and God's grace, I stand before you. I am proof that life knows no limits, and if you chase your dreams fearlessly, your dreams will become your reality. So, fellow graduates, there may be something you love and are naturally good at, or something you enjoy doing, but you need improvement. 
Whether you have studied to become a nurse caring for the sick, an engineer designing new technology, an artist painting murals, a pilot flying passengers all over the world, or a teacher inspiring young minds and developing kind and creative and virtuous children, we have to use our God-given talents fearlessly to enhance our communities and ourselves. Doing so is a necessity, and we have what it takes. Together, we can make this world a more unified and peaceful place. We each have a social responsibility to make our own contribution to the society. Les Brown, one of America's top motivational speakers, says, the graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you will find all the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the inventions that were never shared, the cures that were never discovered, all because someone was too afraid to take the first step, keep with the problem, or determined to carry out their dream. I conclude this valedictory speech in a non-traditional manner by fearlessly following another one of my dreams by singing lines from my original song titled, I'm Alive. <clears throat> Ever think something's too hot out of reach can't be for me. If it were, it would be easy. I don't know how I'll get there, but I know I'll keep on going. I have the greatest gift, I have the gift of life. I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm living. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm living. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to the class of 2018. May you always have the strength and courage to follow your dreams fearlessly. Thank you and God bless you. Tunisia, thank you so much for those, those inspiring words and that wonderful song, and congratulations.